Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is September 13th, 2019. This is my 28th episode about C Sharp programming for desktop application using Windows Presentation Foundation. In this episode, we will learn how to use thread pool, dispatcher, and dispatcher object. In Windows Presentation Foundation, most objects inherit from dispatcher object which has a property called dispatcher which include methods called invoke and begin invoke. For example, in text box class, double click this link, text box control inherited from dispatcher object and this dispatcher object has a property called dispatcher. This dispatcher class has method called invoke. Dispatcher invoke executes specified delegate synchronously on thread the dispatcher is associated with. Please remember executes the specified delegates synchronously. In case of begin invoke, dispatcher begin invoke executes delegate asynchronously. So in case of invoke, executes specified delegate synchronously. In case of begin invoke, executes delegates asynchronously. In this episode, we will learn about how to use thread pool and dispatcher dispatcher object. For more information about thread pool, please double click this link. You can learn more about thread pool by reading these documents. Without further ado, let's get started. Start Visual Studio 2019, go to File, New, Project, Language, C Sharp, Platform, Windows, Project Type, Desktop, Click WPFApp.NET Framework Template, then click Next. Project Name, Dispatcher, Begin, Invoke, Dispatcher, Solution, click Create. Go to View, click Toolbox, then drag and drop text box like this and make it bigger. If property pane is not open, go to view, other window, property window. Then this property window will be displayed. In search box, accept. Then you can find the two accept return and accept tab. Select both. Also, scroll, select visible, select visible. Now save all. From toolbox, drag and drop button. Then here, rename the button contents. Ready, like this. And while ready button is selected, select this lightning bolt and click event button, click enter. Save all, then control F5. Our application should run like this. And we can type text, then close it. Here, public class thread full PARAM public int count minus one public string message. We will initialize empty string public full continue processing pulse thread public thread full parameter. This is constructor. Now here, if 
sorry copy cut paste it here and here thread full parameter tpp new thread full parameter we create an instance save all tpp continue processing then button contents stop else button contents ready we have to modify it to first copy once again true sorry it should be ready it should be stop control f5 once again initially it is ready if i click it it becomes stop ready stop here we create a member function void process background task object param thread full parameter tpp thread full parameter parameter while tpp processing continue here we need to declare using statement system threading using system windows threading scroll down here wait callback walk item new wait callback process this function paste it here tpp continue processing true then we don't need this thread pull q user work item work item tpp we are passing tpp this instance as parameter now here tp message string format count zero thread id one plus plus tpp count thread current thread manage the thread id now at this point text box text tpp message now press f5 now click ready so we have error message unhandled the exception system invalid operation exception it says the calling thread cannot access this object because a different thread owns it i will copy this text and i will paste it here to use it later now close it this line causes the error message press shift f5 to stop debugging so this does not work this line of code does not work it gives error message saying the calling thread cannot access this object because a different thread owns it i will disable it and i will edit thread slip this puts the current thread to slip 0 0.5 seconds or 500 milliseconds please understand that process background task this method is used to create callback delegates and using this work item delegates 
we created a thread full thread. So, this process background task, this method runs in the background thread created using thread pull. In the background thread, we cannot modify UI element. I will save it. The text box, text box class is inherited from dispatcher object. Most UI elements in Windows Presentation Foundation is inherited from dispatcher object. In WPF programming, there are two kinds of threads. One is UI thread, another is non UI thread. There can exist one and only one UI thread in WPF programming. The UI thread is the primary thread or is called main thread. Only the UI thread can modify the UI elements. In the background threads, we cannot modify the states of the UI element. This is the reason why this line of code does not work. As I said, this text box inherits from dispatcher object. Text box class inherits from dispatcher object and dispatcher object has a property called dispatcher. And this dispatcher class has a method called check access. Determines where the calling thread is the thread associated with this dispatcher. So we can test like this. If text box dispatcher check access. If it returns true, then we can modify like this. Text box text tpp message else we cannot access directly instead this dispatcher invoke we can provide a lambda like this text box text tpp message. We fixed like this. Here I will put carries return and press Ctrl F5. Click ready. Now it is running in background thread. Stop. If we click this button again, then it runs continuously. Stop it. Please note that this invoke is synchronous. This dispatcher invoke executes specified delegate synchronously. Instead of using this, we can use invoke async. Okay? Like this. Instead of doing this, try to do like this. Invoke async. This is better. Now Ctrl F5. Now this main UI thread, primary UI thread, and background thread runs asynchronously. We can stop it and we can resume. I will stop it. Close it. Here, instead of doing this, we can also do like this. If this dispatcher check access because this function is a member of main window main window inherits window in msdn documentation 
window also inherits from dispatcher object, so we can also do like this. And I will define here a delegate. Public delegate void text box updater. I defined a delegate called a text box updater. I will copy this and I will disable it. This dispatcher begin invoke dispatcher priority normal new text box updater. I will copy this lambda like this. Now press Ctrl F5. Click ready. It works as before. I will close it. Because dispatcher also defines begin invoke. Begin invoke also executes asynchronously on the thread the dispatcher is associated with. In this case, I used dispatcher priority and delegate. When we create this delegates, we used lambda, like this. This text box updater delegate we defined here, it does not take any parameter. I will upload complete source code to my website c -sharp By the time you watch this video, click this link to download complete source code. If you unzip the downloaded file, you can find the complete source code of this episode. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.